This is Ian McClellan. And this is Elliot Bibby. And I'm we're starving. here. I am starving. What is it you've got? I've got chicken korma. Have a Chicken korma. Some naan bread. Some pakora. Hi, my name is John Hallower and this is, um, we're just about to head out. Um, I don't know where we're going to go, we're just going to hit a pub, some random pub. That's about it. We're in the Johnson Arms Hotel. This is Alba's finest. I can't move for fun. <laughs> <laughs> I had a, an interview with an STV editor website uh, this afternoon. I'll just be uh, careful about what I said. So uh, apparently my last article with uh, the Falcon Herald, uh, apparently I quote, Dynamo is rubbish. Push us. Tells what concentration is and something I hate. Them. So is leaving the, the Johnson Arms? Well, that was absolutely brutal. We are heading to Tillicutri. Isn't that right, Bibster? That is right. Tillicutri oh. should have a little bit more going on. So here we are heading to the Red Lion in Tillicutri. We're at Tillicutri's finest. <laughs> DJ Casper on the tune. We need some DJ Bibster next, that's what we need. DJ Bibster. Everyone. A little bit faster for it, run it, but you ready? Here we go. That was a mess, and then you go on top. If you put your car back on top, it's perfect. We'll place it on top. Now, what we do is I'm going to get your car to go from the middle of the deck where you placed it to the top. Put either of your doors in there. Let's go see. Here we go. Let's have a look. Three speeds, that wasn't your car, was it? Sorry, 20th pint. Yeah, 20th. 20th. Two for 20. I've lost count. Okay, Bibs, so what's it all about? It's all about the match. So we are heading probably to the Eagle. So it's um, 7 minutes to 10, everyone is really tired, that kind of took it out of us. A whole one, why? I feel exactly the same. I ate two Indians and I feel like shit. It's got dark very, very quickly, we've only been in there for five minutes. So potted. <laughs> I feel like I need a massive shit, but I don't need a shit yeah. yet. Like it's in there, but it's oh, not ready to come out. <laughs> oh, through ball! Oh, 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 oh. Go! Oh, nine of spades. Nine of spades. You happy with nine of spades or do you want to change? No, I'll take nine of spades. Nine of spades, watch this. Too much into my pocket here. Deck of cards, yeah? Right, okay. Nine of spades, you could have picked any card. Yeah. Let me watch this. Let's put the cards. Just nine of spades. It's the only face no up card. Way. Way. <laughs> turn, turn it over for me as well. It's the only blue card in the whole red deck. Yeah, oh, fucking horrible. Anyway, do you know how you can use a, a lighter to cheat cards? Mm, no. Are Not you sure. Hold your hand flat. If I was to take a card, for example, that's one here, the Queen of Spades, and if I was to, you know, place the, the card over the top, yeah. you can actually see the reflection mm. of that. Now, if you've got a flat surface and you're dealing, you can actually use it to see the cards as you're dealing the cards. Right. So that's actually true, they actually cheat and 
you know, in casinos doing using these techniques. I'm going to come back to that in a, in a second. Now, um, I'll uh, put it up. Perfect. Uh, hold your hand flat. I'll, I'll, I'll get you to a card. No, okay, which one? So, one minute. I'll take that one. No, one minute. No, <laughs> which one's heaviest? That. No, no, that's the lighter. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you know, you just, you know, just, you know, just, you know, I'll not be happy, like. Don't want to see how this finishes. Now we've got an error, and I've only got a t shirt on. But it's too wee for me. Excellent. So, anyway, um, I've got a blank blank card here. You can at least look at the viewfinder when you're recording. So, Tell me not to look at the viewfinder when I'm recording. So, uh, I'll get you to sign that. Oh, for fuck's sake, man, we'll get a Difficult stuff here. Put you what hand That's me. No, that's my yeah, That's perfect. I'll let you see that. So, nobody so. can copy that. Marshall's <laughs> can't even recognise you by shit at work. <laughs> anyway, the reason I'm getting you to do that is because it proves that there's only one card like that in the entire world and you'd recognise it again if oh, you saw it. Oh, so, definitely. In any case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that card right. and I'm just going to bury it somewhere in the middle of the deck, square it in like that. Place the cards uh, face up in the palm of your hand. Right. Okay. Right. I cast a shadow with the deck of cards. I snap that card rises straight back to the top fuck of your hand. Off. <laughs> it's a bit, no way. It's, it's, a, it's a bit weird. It's weird. No, <laughs> people think that the card doesn't really go into the middle of the deck. They think that you know it's somehow being switched or whatever it is. And you can see that very very Aye. thinly. There's no switch or nothing like that. I'll take the card. I'm going to place it just somewhere in the middle of the deck like that. Uh, I, I just want to point out that it's not on the bottom. There's nothing in my hands, Fuck. and it's not on the top already. I've done absolutely nothing, okay? Okay, watch this. And it goes in your hand. So my hand's empty. Cast the shadow once, twice, snap. And, to <laughs> and, <laughs> and it jumps. No! Hopefully, it jumps through. Wait! Right <laughs> <top. laughs> Fuck mean? off, man! So, no now, danger, man! Now, as I say, this time... Wait, burn that bastard, man! Well, you can I'm going to burn you if you keep this up. I'm going to miss my boss now. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, this time, um, I'm actually going to let you see the split setting that happens. Because this time, I'm not going to place it all the way in. I'm actually going to leave the tail end of the card sticking out. No so chance. you can follow the setting that jumps to the deck. You're going to see, the, see it. Now, the top card at the minute is the Nine of Diamonds. I'm actually going to use the, uh, the Nine of Diamonds to push it in with. So I've actually only done this with two fingers on the deck. If you push too hard, it actually jumps back over here. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> no, no you know? fucking way! I'm got eagle. No! <laughs> no way! It gets, well, it, gets a, cough. it gets a bit worse. He's away. He's <laughs> away. No. I'm staying there. I'm staying no, no. for the whole guy. The, the, he fuck the, him, man. He the, can walk down. The thing is, remember at the beginning I said you could cheat nah, using, eh? using a lighter. No, I'm going to show you this lighter. And uh, if, 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 no, no, no. The thing is, if I warm up this, you know, the lighter, you'll see that inside the lighter, there's a playing card. Okay, <laughs> okay. You, can, you can see that, and this has been in your hand the whole time, okay? And I'll get you to hold the rest of the cards like that. If I take it out, you can see that it's not just a, um, not just any playing card, but it actually is your signed playing card. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Am I getting my cards back? Very good. Oh my <laughs> fucking god! <laughs> <laughs> Don't let me see it. Be sure everyone else should tell me. And to make it even fair, can you sign your name on that card? Nice and big all over the face of the card. Okay, I'll take the pen back. It's bit expensive and I'm a poor student. <laughs> there we go. I'll fall back on the top. So, um, we've got your signed Nine of Diamonds huh? on the top. Now, if we take about half the cards, mm -hmm. we'll take your sign 9 from the top and slot it in the middle. Right. You need to keep your eye on that 9 because it's going to jump to the top again. Can right. you push the 9 into the middle? Push it. That's it. Oh no. Oh no. No way! Oh no no way. No Who the way. fuck did you do that? <laughs> I've got a very special deck of cards here. You'll see that all the cards the blank. are blank on, on both sides, every single one right to the yeah. end of the deck, okay? Now, I can hardly do any kind of pick-a-card trick with these cards. Hi, I told you these are quite weird cards, but here's, here's the weird thing. Is if I cut the cards, mm -hmm. what do you mean I get a face. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> well, it's just, just one face. What the fuck, man? <laughs> it's a bit weird. Look, there's, I mean, there's nothing on these cards, nothing at all. Okay? But watch, 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 watch. If I cut the second time, I get another face. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's, a bit, it's a bit weird. Hold your hand flat. Okay? Now, what I'll do is, is you might feel this. This is quite strange. Do you feel that? No. Nah. 
That's because it's fucking freezing. Your hands are numb. But hey, this is quite weird because I'm gonna rub it in your hand. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> no, you got a bag. Oh my god! You're like dynamo. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> Because you can see I've got a face and a butt, right? Is that? Is that my looks weird? I thought it was just my eyes. Every single card. Is that even funny? It's like putting a video camera and doing 3D. Every single card. Every single card. Every single card. Every single card. You can see they're all there, right? Yeah. Oh my god. Watch this. Watch this. If I get a little shake. They go back to being blank. Blank them on the I'm 19 a day. Happy birthday. And Kemal, you fucking Happy made birthday. my night. Happy birthday. Oh, yeah. yeah? You sure? Yeah. Right, okay. When you take that card, I want you to remember it. I want you to show it to all of them. Right, show me, me. Show yeah, me. Yeah, show it to the camera right, as well. Right, right. Perfect. <coughs> okay, and I want you to take the deck, mm -hmm. and then turn round and put it back in the deck. Right. Right. You put it back in. Mm -hmm. Right, just get you to put your hand out. Right. When the, the first thing they told me was pick a card, like your favourite card, and it was always for me, it was the six, and it was black cards, it was the clubs. If I wanted to find that, I would just spell it, so S-I-X-O-F-C-L-U, B, and that would be the six of clubs. But that wasn't your card, was it? Yeah, you can fucking do better. yeah. How did you know that? No, 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 wait, 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 wait. So, if I find your card, just hang with it. I might get the spelling wrong, but. A I A I N S L E Y. What was your card? Oh my god! Kiss me! Kiss You're fucking awesome! Happy birthday. Come on! See you, right? You've made my birthday. Happy days! Happy days! No, watch this. Give me that sight, watch. That's my behind. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Salt and vinegar. <laughs> yeah. uh, don't let me see it. Show I everyone else show the camera. I swear to God, it's fucking awesome. Let me see it. Let me see it. There you go, Tyrone. Perfect. And Chris, if you sign your name on it for me, nice and big, all over the face, I'll turn around. <laughs> if you just shout stop for me, press where you are. Stop. A little bit faster for you. Sorry, I'm just like saying stop. <laughs> just shout stop, <laughs> Chris. Stop being a dick. Stop. Stop. If you pull it back on top. I bet you that's what you want me to put it. Chris, go and soak it. I don't want you to put it. I don't want you to put it. It's going here somewhere. No? No, you're not. What? Is it vanished for the deck? Oh, look at my eyes. You're fantastic. No, here, I'm not going to lie. I just love card tricks myself, but you fucking fuck me. Chris, you're back at it! Chris! Look at his eyes! I know, Ken, I'm looking for the first place. Chris, look at his eyes! Chris, look at his eyes! Right, I know he's beat me, I do what I take on the chin. <laughs> I'm joking, big you know. Right, you beat me, you want my boxers or not? That was scary, right? Chris! I'm going to... Chris, get yourself! We've taken them off, but you've won them. See if you're going to put that on camera, I'm larger. Come on, mate. Boom! 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 Can I get you to draw a wee scribble? Because it does come off a wee bit, and it, you know, just on both sides or whatever it is. Hey, can more? Just the can. because it's my birthday, right? You can go in my hand. Maybe I feel fucking privileged. <laughs> that, that's, perfect. Pen. Pen, that's perfect. Right now, you would recognise your signature again when you, if you see it. Definitely. So it proves I'm, like I'm not it's like It's only an like A and a scribble in the top of it. Because like, that would just be silly, right? So anyway, right. I'm going to get rid of the pens. I'm going to get rid of my coins. So my hands are completely empty. So you can all see that. Okay. Watch this. I need you to hold your hand flat for me. Uh, this is quite weird. So you can see the coin. No chest. If I rub the coin very gently, it kind of goes a bit like rubber. He pulls it away, fat. That is mind blowing, mate. You can't do it. Why you can't? I swear to God, this shit's mental. Can I? Oh, 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 what the fuck? <laughs> I'm out of here, man. That's a bit of a shit, like.
What are you I'm doing? He's just as mad with that 10 pence. <laughs> How the fuck? I can't believe we just done that to our 10 pence. It's the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. The 10 How pence? can a 10 pence bend? It's impossible. Okay, uh, we're parked outside the Esso garage. We're going to be dropping off uh, Elliot uh, at the train station shortly. Something along the lines of, John said, can you put a fruit parcel in your mouth without chewing it? And I said, yes, I would just swallow it immediately. And he said, no, that's not the rule. Apparently you've got to put it in your mouth and let it dissolve. Which I then said, no, John, that would take hours. Are you allowed to suck it? To which John replied, yes, I yeah. suck it all the time. Yeah, he said, I love sucking it, day and night. Um, the harder the better, usually. I'll prove you wrong. I'm going to put one in, I'm not going to chew it. That's one red, and then another green one. The That's green. one, two, three, four, five green ones and one red. The first six. Uh -huh. Would you like another green one? I'll just get some fruit pastels. Another green one! Another green one. What the fuck? So there's been one red one. One red one? That's half the pack of guns. There's only been one red one. Would you like it for a person? I've not chewed no. this yet. I'm just moving that about in my mouth. <laughs> I'm going to try no, it as well. I'm moving that about in my mouth. And that'll fucking prove you. If you don't believe me. It's really hard. You know, it's, it's the desire to chew the fruit pastel is... Uh, <laughs> Is, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I should be able to fight this though. <laughs> it's not like I'm addicted to swim for bars. Mm. Are you mad? Ah, oh, is that, is that chew? Oh, oh mm. look at that. Uh, there's a fruit pass right there, look. Right. I like him. Right. Look. Okay. Right. <laughs> the desire to chew. Ah. The fruit pastels is immense. Okay, that's us now bidding. Elliot, Bibby, farewell. I'm gonna go for the evening. Had a good night. Gonna go back to Edinburgh now and sleep. I'll sleep until maybe about one or two o'clock tomorrow. See you then. Adios, amigos. Bye for now, Bibster. Bye for now. Good morning, Ian. Good morning. Um, we're just about to leave to go to Kilmarnock. It's about seven in the morning. Um, Takes about an hour and a half to get there, so we'll be there for hopefully be there for about half eight, get checked in, get into the hotel and that but I need to go to Asda and get a toothbrush, um boxers and a house key, because I've actually forgotten my house key as well. So I'm hoping there's a locksmith that knows my lock uh, in Asda. Alright guys, me again. Um it's about ten past eight in the morning. We're back at John's because he forgot his sat nav so we got about half an hour down the road and we had to come back because he forgot his sat nav and he doesn't have a clue but about it's in Kilmarnock this is going to be held because we never go there um, so we're looking now to be there by about 10 o'clock so we should be in the convention by hopefully half 10, 11 o'clock but I need to get a shower and check because John Shell's fucked hey, We're heading to London Road I'm just trying to find it on my phone which is proving to be quite difficult. This is awesome. John's programmed his sat nav to sound like a surfer. After 300 yards, turn right. That would be your right, not my right, dude. <laughs> Quality. Here we are at the Broomhill Hotel. This is not bad. Lovely view from our flat. Okay, Ian's just away having a shower just now and Stephen Blair was good enough to post on Facebook a timetable for the convention. So, just to update you, at 9 o'clock the registration desk opens, uh, then they've got the dealers for half an hour, then they've got the lecture, it's Ian Adair, who's a guy I've never heard of, um, then they've got a close-up show, then it's lunchtime, and then the, later on in the afternoon they've got some competitions, which I'm not sure if that's the one that Stephen Blair and Kristen Moody are in or not. Um, then we've got another lecture, Pat Fallon, who's another guy I've never heard of. Um, and then they've got a ladies' event, which is chocolate ma make it, sorry, again, chocolate making and ta tasting, which um, apparently only ladies are allowed to do. How sexist is that? Um, then they've got some dinner and a gala show later on, and dealers, um, and then the President's Late Night Show at 11pm. You're ready. We are ready. Because we're warriors. I'm a warrior. You're uh, a wench. Okay, guys, um, we are 
trying to find this uh, convention thing, but we are... We don't know where the fuck we are. Uh, we just spoke to a guy who's pointed out that the park hotel we were trying to travel to is at the far end of this road, apparently, so... Um, we no, no longer feel as lost. We just passed a sign that says Vote Yes. Vote Yes on May the 5th. Doesn't say what you vote yes to, it just. Just vote yes. Get a ball of paper and just write yes on it. Well, at least it's a very positive message, you know. So, I think uh, it's influenced us, and I think on May the 5th, I'm going to vote yes. May the 5th today. Is it? Yes. I'm going to vote yes today. The destination is in sight. I'm going to make this handkerchief, the blue one, jump over there, and I'm going to make the red one jump over there. It's all done with a snap of the fingers. Watch. One there, and one there. And uh, I'll just have a look. Oh yes, the red one's over there, and the blue one's over there. The hard part of the trick is it's got to go back again. Up! And there it is, the red one's back again, the blue one's over there, and there it is. Uh, that's it there. So, I'll tell you what we'll do. You thought I cheated, didn't you? I'm going to put that one inside there, and this time we're going to make them really change. So here we go. There's the red, there's the blue. Jump! Now did you see it? Because over here, it's not the blue one. Over here, right inside that thing here, here we are. It's the red one. And, uh, oh wait a minute, I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll put that over And over here, inside this one here, if I can get the end of it, where it is, yes, here we are. It's marvellous. Inside here we've got the blue one. It's marvellous. And that's the blue one. And, oh, inside the bags. Well, inside the bags, we've got some other hankies. We really have, but they're not what you think. These are all the colours of the rainbow and a few more. Nothing else inside the bag. You can tear up the bags if you like and show the other ones just the same. I think you should give yourselves a nice clap for doing the magic. You see all the magicians talking about decks of cards. Well, it's a pack of cards. I mean, that came from America. Here's a deck of cards. You, it just, people don't know what a deck is. Some of them do. Uh, why say deck when it's a pack of cards? I've just bumped into Mr. Paul Nardini. How you doing? So Paul, what is it you do? I always stand at bars meeting guys, and, you know, and they just like say hello and they're making videos later, you know? Since Maybe not show you those ones, because they're obviously a pay for scrub subscription. That'll do. And now we're going to have a wee beer and then go back to the magic. Yeah. See the, the the dealers, all 500 of them. Okay. <laughs> bye. bye for now. Ciao. So we're just sitting here having a wee beer. Uh, Ian's on the cheese sandwiches. Are we, is Stephen not coming out there? Uh, no, Stephen's. I don't know. I've not. I, 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 I've seen him. I've not spoken to him yet. But. Find out if it's Hobbs or not. If you look, yeah, bang him. There's no other magicians here getting drunk. None, except, except for me and Ian. What do you think of the, the lecture? Shite. Boring. I think it's about kids' magic. Chalkboards and napkins. This is, this is Stephen Blair. Hi. And this is his friend who is... Ryan. Ryan. Nice to meet you, Ryan. Stephen Blair's been buying some stuff, so... I spent a shit ton of money. Bingo Deception. <laughs> That's the size of the game. Ah, it's Guy Hollingsworth. I said Stephen Blair. Uh, I drank the British close-up yeah. symposium. Ah, it's fine.
please step forward next to your pub. That's very good. Yeah. And you stick your finger in the hole. Very good. And Jim, you take a very gentle finger. No jokes. In a moment, on your wedding day, the priest will drop the ring in over the top like this. Teresa, can I ask you this question because it's very important. Can you feel the ring on the back of your finger? Because they said if you were truly made for each other, the priest would separate those pieces of wood. The ring would be actually on your finger. He would now pronounce you man and over. So, man and wife. Life as a magician is pretty hard. Um, you know, you mag magicians by nature are quite reclusive. You know, you're, you're practicing all the time. You, you, you know, in a closed room, you, you're isolated and and. Um, and then you know you don't go out that much, and, and uh, you lack you lack social skills. And, uh, you, you, you know you, you laugh occasionally, you know, out of context. <laughs> he is to reach with hand, one hand and cut through for an ace, the ace of um, spades. Watch noises on top, noises on the bottom. I was. This close of screwing up, yeah? I'm gonna try again, cutting somewhere with just one hand to another ace, the ace of diamonds. Yeah. One of these cards is gonna jump in the air, catch up with his hand, and that will be the last one, the ace of clubs. Watch. <laughs> okay. <laughs> king of Hearts. Good, good, good. King of Hearts. Yeah, it was just beside another king, actually. Uh, the King of Spades. Huh? King of Spades. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut the cards about 20... Actually, just by the King of Spades, and that the card will be beside the, the King of Hearts. Now, I've been doing this, and people see me on the street, and they say, Oh, you, you're this Scottish-Portuguese magician, Michael, Michael Neto. And they say, Yeah, yeah, that's me, that's me. And they say, well, we, we all know that you're very skilled with your fingers, but, um, but what about with your tongue? <laughs> well, actually, I'm going to demonstrate this to you. I'm actually, actually going to cut the card by the King of Spades, because it's just beside the King of Hearts, I can't even with my tongue. And um, if this goes well, we'll just see the King of Spades. King of Spades, I'm... <clears throat> Speaks. I just had uh, food at the whatever place it was, and we're now heading back to the convention because there's a competition starting. They've not said what kind of competition it is. It could be anything from Ludo to drafts to Monopoly, uh, but I don't know. So that's what we're going to go and see. Bye for now. Ian's has said it's a good idea to have some wine. <laughs> uh, a lot the swine will have the wine. I mean, what's your observations? There's a lot of really old people here. Like, fucking, not like pensioners, like critically old. Like, you should be in a hospital. Oh. There you go. Thank you very much, Kenta. Yeah. Because magic's exciting. I love it. It's just cool. Mm -hmm. And then we should buy a box. They were selling raffle tickets over the corner here. Pound a time, you can win a hundred pounds. You can win a nice stay at the hotel. Tickets for the football. There's, I need to go and look, there's a magic set for the goodies. There's six bottles of wine. So if you're interested in buying the tickets, it will be drawn tonight at the gala show. So it's a pound a ticket if I can interest you. Thank you. Okay, the competition thing's about to start just now. I'm going to do some magic for you. The wind and magic need two things. Does anybody know what these are? Anybody? I'll give you a clue. What often you say? Magic. Magic words. That's it. I know the magic words. Tell me. That's it. Have a banana. So, what you do is, you get... That's right, isn't it? 
No. Right, what are the magic words? Sorry, President Obama. Right. So you go, Pres No. What are the magic words? Right, abracadabra, right, okay, so we've got magic words, we need one more thing, and that is the magic, oh, that's it, the magic haunts you, hold your hand, like this, and you go, magic haunts you, a wand, sorry, right, so we've got our words, we've got our wands, and we can now do some magic, one, two, three, four, white feather dusters, and an empty tube, can everyone see through the empty tube? What's particularly amazing about this tube is if you look right the way through, you will see another tube. Can you see the other tube? Yeah. It's me. Right, right. Put your hands up if you like magic. Yeah. Put your hands up. Yeah. He's called Mr. Happy. Does he look happy, boys and girls? No. It's a wee bit sad, isn't it? So this is Mr. Happy. And then the yellow one is called Mr. Very Happy. Does he look very happy, boys and girls? No. He doesn't, does it? That even sadder. Now the last one, you probably guess the last one's name. He's called Mr. Very, Very Happy. And of course, boys and girls, he is very, very happy. No, he's not. No. The first one lives in a tree. He does. He lives in this tree here with two of his friends. He does. So, do you want to meet them? Right. So, in the tree we have the grey cat, we have the ginger cat, and we have the nice, clean Cheshire cat. It's dirty! It's not dirty! It's all nice and clean because he's going to be... Oh no! He's dirty. Oh, what are we going to do with you? Really? You can't meet others dirty, so we'll need to send him home, boys and girls. I know, he'll need to go for a bath. He can't do a magic hat. Dirty, can he? No. no. So we'll put him back in. As I say, we'll send him home and get him a bath so he can come back and do his magic calls. So shout, say goodbye to him. Bye! Bye! Bye. Bye. It's what? It's clean. Ah, oh, there we go. He doesn't need to do the act. He can do the act. He doesn't need to go home for a bath. That's us. Oh, she says she's been very busy today. And she's laid a great big egg for me. Give her a big clap for laying a great big egg for me. Oh, there's a big fox running around. And we don't want that fox to get my egg, do we? What's that bad fox to get my egg? So you fucking him. No, well that's Happy Hen, you silly sausages. Look, have you seen that bad fox here? No, that's Happy Hen. Look, if you see that bad fox, you let him... <laughs> if you see that bad fox, you let happy him... No, that's happy him! Ian's lost the girl alive. Um, thankfully, I think that's a kid's magic finished with. And we're now about to start and join the... Some other... Oh, it's getting... Oh, it's that... That dog or something. Um, yeah, so uh, now I think it's the adult magic. So here's hoping this is going to be a bit more up Ian and my street. Hi hey guys, I'm saying that first of all. I'm not annoyed that I'm sober. Ladies and gentlemen, could you please be seated as the show will be starting in one minute's time. Thank you very much. Here we go! 
where are you from? Glasgow. Glasgow. Where about? Campus Lang. Oh, Campus Lang. This will be all new to you. Electricity? <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. We're going to get you the magic hat. <laughs> there we go. Oh, wait a minute. Do you know what magicians keeps in hats? Rabbits. <laughs> Let's have a look. Up you come. <laughs> <laughs> I want to ask you a question. What's your favourite animal in the whole wide world? Tiger. Come here, darling, come here. If I could make a tiger, I would not be here today, okay? So, what's your favourite animal in the whole wide world? A tiger. A tiger. Now, I want to ask you a question, darling. Have you ever been to a fancy dress party? Yes. So is this tiger. <laughs> and this tiger, well, is a penguin. <laughs> Fuck, this is a bunch of children's magic. Yeah, it hasn't just been children's magic. Unfortunately, I'm a bit, bit disappointed in that. It's only four o'clock or so. I've been drinking for about fucking eight hours. Yeah, that. I'm a bit gassed as well, but not, uh, not, not as gassed as uh, I thought it would be. I'm not drunk though. Fuck it, darn. Okay, we're just back at the Broom Hall Hotel. We're going to go to sleep for a couple of hours and then go back for the gala show. Have you ever been in that situation where you've lost your keys and your mobile phone? What? Have you ever been in a situation where you've lost your keys and your mobile phone? No. What's the situation? Um, John's from the shitty taxi company, so they bumped us. The taxi came, never waited for us. Now we're waiting for another one to go back to the kids' magic convention. Come on, it's bad. So the idea is to basically, um, on the count of three, the silk will actually penetrate the microphone stand before your very eyes. If you don't have very eyes, it will happen anyway. Watch. One. Two. You can feel the pressure here. Oh. Um, I caught you off guard. Please don't blink. On the count of three. One, two, and like a ghost for a castle. Three. Just like that. show business tube. I'm going to throw my voice into this tube. That's what we're going to do. You get your tube, look at that, it's almost like he understands what I'm saying. Okay, look, you take your tube like that, you put your hand on the bottom of the tube like that. You can use any kind of tube, it doesn't have to look like this, it could be paper. You can get paper and roll it up and you can put some sellotape on either end and then you've got a tube, it's fine. It doesn't have to look like this. Children, don't worry, any kind of tube, don't worry, don't get bogged down in what kind of tube it can be. If you haven't got sellotape, use elastic bands, that's fine, it doesn't matter. Don't worry about it. Or get one of those glue sticks and put it down there and then close it and then put some, some sellotape on there and just, oh, that's brilliant. And then put your, your hand up. Or get one of those big metal tubes <laughs> off the hoover, that's fine. It doesn't matter. Don't worry about it. Don't let it concern you. Or a toilet roll tube. <laughs> but if you use a toilet roll tube, remember, unroll all the toilet roll first. <laughs> and you get your empty tube like this. You talk inside it, you say, hello, trap your voice inside like that, then you can let it out whenever you like, like this. Isn't that fantastic? You say I did something at last! Isn't that good? Should we do a magic trick? 
I'll show you a magic trick before we do any more gold venture because I've got some white ropes. Well, I've got one white rope and I've got a red rope. Which one do you like best? I don't even care. Don't matter. Same size. Don't matter, does it? Don't matter. Don't even matter. Don't matter. Same size. Don't matter. Don't matter. Don't matter. Don't matter. Don't matter. Don't it any wicked. Look, don't it wicked. I'm down with the kids. Look. Which one do you like best? I don't care. Ah. Right it is then, it has to be this one. It's the trick one! Grab a simple rhyme and you'll never forget how it's done. Look, you just make a loop, get the end, push it through. Doesn't rhyme, watch the knot. Keep your eye on that knot, whatever you do. Don't take your eye off that knot, watch that knot, watch that knot. Don't take your eye off that knot. You're feeling sleepy. You're just bored. It is a kid's show. Watch the knot, watch the knot. Don't take your eye off that Don't look at that one, ignore that one. Don't look at that one, watch that one. Forget that's even there. Don't even look at that. That's not part of it, ignore that. Watch that one. You'd be crazy. I'll move this because it's confusing, okay? Ignore this! <laughs> Don't look at this! Just watch this one. Watch the knot. Watch the knot. Keep your eye on the knot. Watch the knot because the knot will completely disappear. That is the best trick you've ever seen. Look at that. The knot. Oh, yes, come on! That's not bad. I've done something. I've done a trick. Look at that. Fantastic. I tell you what, it's not even a real knot, obviously. Grow up. You see, it's not a real knot, it's a trick one. You can slide it down the road. You can't actually slide a real knot down the road like that. A real knot would stay still. That one's stuck on with like magnets or blue tack or spit or something. You can slide it right down there like that. You can even take that knot, try it when you get home. You can slide it right down the road, right off the end like that, and then you can just put it back on again. It's ridiculous. I tell you what, if that was a real knot, it would be part of the road. You know, oh come on, that's not bad. Look at that! Now, I'm not going to make anybody wear this. This is a bit moth-eaten and flea-ridden, and nobody wants to wear this today. I do. <laughs> See, you want to you wear... I do, I do, I do. Please, me, can I wear it, please? Me, 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 me. Really? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to wear it, dear. Yeah, yeah. I've always wanted to be ginger. Yeah.
Well, that's the first half of the show over and done with. Um, I was quite impressed with the show. I don't know about you, Ian, what do you think? Yeah. Uh, John Kimmins, who was the last act, he was really good, so I quite enjoyed that. Um, so looking forward to the second half, it's definitely picked up, so... Um, yeah. Yeah, you Oh, it's one of these 
the old ones. And we got in court. I don't think it'll run, Colin. Um, see, I have actually designed my own predetermined script. Uh, and my script is designed to do one thing, and that's influence. But it's in the, it's in the word of a story, so it's not as obvious. So, boy, still barrier up. Track finishes soon. I haven't got any more. Anyway, well, that's loading up. Um, what I would like to do is, um, I'd like to read this script to the person on the other end of the phone, word for word, and uh, it's going to have one outcome. Um, can you dial somebody on the phone, please, that you know that will be in now and that will answer? Do you not know anybody? Don't lie. I can tell whether you're lying in the mind reader. Go on, please, can you just ring somebody? You don't know anybody. Well, I'll go in your phone now, I'll get to it. You can ring out, I'll ring somebody. No, no, no. So I can ring anybody, otherwise I'll just have a random number. It's your choice, but we'll get your number at the end of it. Go on, can we ring somebody, please? Just ring anybody. Uh, anybody that you know that will be in? Work stuff. Oh, well, just ring one of them. Does anybody have a phone that we can ring somebody up, please? Go. Hello? Hi, Auntie. Uh, Hi, it's Jonathan. Um, can I read this to you, please? Uh, can I read this, please? <laughs> can I read this script to you, please? I wrote it for school. Uh, I went to see a show tonight and heard a great story by one of the performers. It was about a little girl who was in a drawing lesson. She was after hearing that story, please name their card nice and loudly. <laughs> Ignore the last part. <laughs> name a card. Hello? <laughs> Just see a card. I'll give you a ten on the next time I see you. <laughs> no, nobody has to look at it. I'm at a show. Just see a card. I'll give you a ten. <laughs> Just see a card, right? Just see a card, please. Please, please, please. I'll give you a hug. <laughs> she says ace of spades. Thank you. Have one out
medium. Hey, man. Does it go self exhaust? <laughs> Don't be a bit shit. <laughs> Have you noticed Ian? Um, look at look what we found! Ash! Oh, I think it's a bit like coffee as well. I dare you something, I dare you something, they're doing 3 for 3 I won't be fucking buying that. What did you think of the show? Uh, the shows were good. I uh, liked them. I liked them a lot. What's your, your review of the convention so far? It's been good so far. Um, Tomorrow, uh, it'll be a good day. Uh, what have you got in store for us tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow I'm in the close-up show. I'm the close-up competition. And then there's the John Cummings lecture. And then the farewell lunch. And then presentation of the awards for the competition one. What's the highlight of the show been for you? Uh, John Cummings, I liked him. Um, in the Pat Fallon lecture. So Ian. There's no middle aged people here, it's either old as fuck or young as fuck. We just met this guy, um, and your name is? Graham. Nice to meet you, Graham. And you are? Uh, I am a, a freelance here in events technician that works for magicians up and down the country. Uh, so. Awesome stuff. Four jacks going into the different parts of the deck. Yeah? Yes, they are, yes. Okay. Yes. Right there. And, uh, you'll see that it's not anywhere near the top. Nope. Okay. Uh, sometimes you get lucky. Mm-hmm. Then get lucky. Yeah. Yes. And just change it straight into Jack. Oh my god! It's good hey. Go 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 do that again, Pia. <laughs> oh my god! That was brilliant. Where's <laughs> <laughs> it? Cut again, right? And uh, so, just give it one of these cups, which we're in it. Just a blow, and then we get the second. No danger! Right? We get the second. Um, try and find the. Uh, try and find the. We right. can actually use these two to find your. Oh, can you? Yeah. Well, then, show us sometimes. Jack. Prove it. One on the bottom. One on the top, one on the bottom. Yeah. Just a blow. It catches one card, right? Eh? Um, but the card that it captures is another here. jack. Yeah? Well, you, we'll try and find the last one, okay? I'll look you on it. Right? Yeah. We'll try and find the last one, watch this, we'll give it a little call like oh, that. Right, yeah. And what we'll do is we'll mix the cards face up and face down. Alright, yeah. Like this. Yeah. 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 Uh, so that means that some cards are face down. Yes. Some cards are face up. Yes. Some cards are back to back to back. Yes. Face to back. Yes. 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 Watch yes. the ball. Yeah. Get out of it. Are you done, my friend? No, no order yet. You can look for one if you want. Uh, who wants to go first? Me, me, me. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, give the deck a cut and take less than half, but you just split it into two piles. Okay? You keep the small pile, hold on to them, guard them with your life. Can we get those a shovel? Okay? Uh, once you've done that, just take any cut out you want and give me the rest back. Okay? Uh, show some friends, but not me. Maybe show the camera. Okay? Uh, put it back in. Yeah, yeah. I'll not touch these again. Okay. Uh, you've got a smallish pile. I want you to deal one at a time and say stop whenever you want. So just whenever you're ready, say stop. Stop. Turn over the next card. So that's a seven. And that was fair, yeah? You could have had a two, you could have... Okay, so that's seven for your choice. Yep. Would you be impressed if your card's in the seventh position? Oh yeah, 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 well, it's Take the deck and deal with the seventh card. One, two, three, four, five, six. Turn it over. Seventh card. Oh yes. Just bumped into Toby Davis, and he's going to tell us what was going through his mind. Not a lot, really. <laughs> Obviously, didn't go according to plan. Um, <laughs> things didn't go well, so. Yeah, well, it was, it was good fun. And Stephen Blair from the byline posing. Come on, Stephen. 
I'll give you a chance to do English if you want me to be checked just now. I uh, haven't actually got anything on me. What do you need? Uh, I haven't got anything on me yet. I don't know. Oh, so did, you, did you enjoy it though? Things. Did you enjoy it though? Yeah, I thought it was a good laugh. Good, good. good show. Some good acts on it. Slick. Right, so what we've got then is um, cards all mixed up. Now what I'm going to have to do is sort them out into um, hearts and spades and uh, clubs and diamonds. Bear with me on this one. And the reason why I'm doing hearts and spades is because they look the same so I can help me recognise <laughs> that they're going to because I just get my mind uh, completely mixed up. Oh, we put them on. Oh, no, I was going to say, I thought we'd rippled them all together there for a minute. Right, hopefully. Right, so that should be hearts and spades and that should be 26. Right, okay, so hearts and spades, diamonds and clubs. Mm -hmm. Which one do you want me to have? Which one do you want? Uh, hearts and spades. You want hearts and spades? Please. You take hearts and spades. Right, I'm going to put a card face down. You're going to put a card on top of it face up. Right, so face down. You go face up, face down, face down, face down. And the gold mate. Right. It'd be cool if they all matched up. So for here, we want the eight of hearts and... Eight of diamonds. Go for it. There, five and... Five. Six, four... Six and six, nine and nine, ace and ace, jack and jack, and so on and so on. So on. Okay, so it looks like we're going to go venture homeward, I think. Do you think again? One of the things. Um, because we're kind of running low on space on the camera in terms of the amount we can record, um, we've not really been recording much. You've not missed anything, really. Um, however, we've enjoyed ourselves tonight. It's definitely picked up, been a lot better than this morning. Um, so um, we're just about to have a wee cup of tea, uh, get us boiling just now, and then hit the hay. Mm. Nah, not really. Just um, that guy, that fat guy, with the, the guy that looked like a pedo was good. Although he did look like a pedo. <laughs> and then that, who was that woman? That woman that was at that table there. I don't know. She came in, eh, and who are you with? I was like, my mate John. And she was like, eh, what, you know what club? I was like, no. Not a fucking magic club. Do I look like I'm a magic club? A bitch. Did she get fucking, and then kept watching her friend? Oh, nah, she didn't. She annoyed me. She really annoyed me. She was wearing a fucking fleece. <laughs> bitch. How dare she wear a fleece? Oh, what a whore. And it was lilac, it was fit all day or something. There was no badges on it, I think. <laughs> How dare she not have a badge on her fleece? What a slut. Good morning. Uh, that's us just up and we're just going to head and get some breakfast and then head back to the convention. Um, we're going to go for breakfast and then head back to the convention again for another full day of fucking kids magic. But at least we get a three course meal. Um, which basically, when it comes down to what you paid for when you paid for the convention, you get a three course meal and fucking Sunday. It's not super expensive, but it's been shit. Apart from last night, it was about two hours last night, and that bitch, she right pissed me off, man, fucking talking down to me and that. You're in a magic club, I don't give a, I look like I'm in a magic fucking club. You creepy pedo bastard. So we've, we've arrived back at the convention. Uh, we've just met Stephen Blair. Yeah, hey, I'm suited up for the competition and the close-up competition. You're going to win? Alright. I'm good. I'm good. I'm going to win. That music is uh, annoyingly. The close-up competition is about to start in another few minutes and uh, there seems to be no sign of Kristen Woody so uh, I don't know where he is, I said he was supposed to be competing um, Stephen Blair's competing, Michael Nett is competing uh, that's all I know who's competing We've finally bumped into Kristen Woody who's <laughs> saying he's going to come up with an act in the next 10 minutes Give us a smug smile. Oh yeah! 
may as well do the bad boy on the table squad. See, and Boa. Beautiful that, not, oh, not quite as. Don't take your eye off the camera. <laughs> Glasgow, I don't need a microphone, we can just shout, that's what we do down there. <laughs> Wonderful, uh, I'm going to show you the mystery of the linking rings. Why is it a mystery? Because it's the most complicated trick in magic, and the reason it's a mystery is why I've chosen to do it when I'm not very good at it. <laughs> so here's the idea, we have not one, not two, not three, but four of these bad boys. Oh yeah! <laughs> now to slow that down for you here, these bad boys here, a little saw can actually pass right through. That's it done once and that's it done twice. How cool is that? Huh? How cool is well, that? Well, I would be to think of any letter in the have you, have you ever seen mind reading done with Lincoln Rings? I haven't, no. You haven't? This is the world first, ladies and gentlemen. Paul, I want you to think of any letter at all in the alphabet that's a vowel that's kind of near the middle. Okay? <laughs> you got one? How do you know? Here we go. Is it an I? No. Or is it an O? It was an O. Ah! <laughs> this trick's been around for thousands of years, and I'm the first person to discover these can do something unique. Watch carefully, you can see through this ring. This ring can actually hook up onto the ceiling there. Bing, it has hooked up. This ring here can hook up over here. If you squeeze really tightly, <laughs> here's the idea, here's the idea. Hello sir, how are they? No bad, you get the big rope. Yeah, Josh can't use you. Hello there young man, how are you? Fine, how are you? That's quite interesting, I'm just going to take back by that, I'm doing not too bad. Not too bad at all. Clark Kent. <laughs> get a small one, champ, okay? Here's the idea. I would like you to inspect these roads, make sure there's no magnets, no mirrors, no smoke machines, no trap doors. Make sure that the ends don't stick together. He's like, ah, he's like, I've got a police station. I'm, I'm, I'm bored with this, right? This is not what I signed up for, right? I'll take that one back. Whoop. Wonderful. Kent. <laughs> Youngster. Whoop. Here's the idea. Three different sizes of ropes. We have a big rope, we have a medium sized rope, and we have a small rope. If we give these three ropes a tug, it can appear that the three ropes are changing size into not one, not two, but three. Or as we say in the magic world, the medium sized rope, a second medium sized rope, and indeed a third medium sized rope. Thank you very much. So, three coins. We'll place two there and one here. Now, one way to do it is I'm going to make it vanish, but I've got a magic wand. And as well as doing magic, I'm also a student. So, unfortunately, I don't have a fancy budget, um, so please don't laugh. <laughs> Sorry? That's uh, right here. Here it is. Just like that. It'll vanish. Now, start with please. The next one, you'll see it go. All you have to do is keep your eye on the cone, give it a little blow, and completely vanish. Well, it doesn't vanish, it just goes back to the table. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I know you can see it, but can everyone at the back see the coin? Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Okay, you know what, just to make it a bit easier, we'll make it a little bit bigger. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the idea. 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 Maybe so, maybe not. <laughs> okay, now what I've got, here, I've got a pack of cards, as you can see. What I'd like to do, for the moment, can you just select the card for me? Jack of Diamonds. Jack of Diamonds, okay. That's it. Are you happy with the Jack of Diamonds? Yes. Now, what I've done is on the back of these cards, I have put different symbols. Can you see that? What does that say? Prunes. Prunes. Plums. 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 Spaghetti hoops. Beans. Sweet corn. Peas. Broccoli. Ravioli. Rice pudding. The, the whole point of this trick is, you've selected a card, 
I have a full pack of cards here and every single card does have a different symbol on the back of it. There's only 52 cards and you selected any card that you wish. Is that correct? Every card has a different symbol on the back of the cards. Can you turn your card over for the first time and show the audience your card? <coughs> now let's be honest, if you had to own that tin and it was carrots, would that be a good trick? Yeah. Would that be a good trick? Yeah. It would be the best trick you've seen, sir. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Let's have a look. And we'll open this up like this. Take this little napkin and we will see. Hold on a second, ladies and gentlemen. Is this carrots? I do believe it's carrots. Thank you. So, Mr. Dinwiddie, what do you think of the competition? I think it was, a, it was a good standard. I think everybody did well. It was good to see that, uh, that there was not so many card tricks, you know. I think that sometimes you go on and you get. You get two and a half levels of I was a look at this card kind of deal, so ah, it was good. Can you explain to the people watching this why you're not going to win? The <laughs> he didn't pay the fees and the, the marks only go up to 100 and I've got over 100. So uh, the basically what happens is it goes back around again, so essentially I've only got 15 uh, out of 100 for it. Because when you map this the thing, they went, look, it's, it's off the chart. I mean, I, I saw the guy actually did a bit of paper there and he was writing the marks in his hand because it was a way up there. So, I mean, you know, things like that that happened. You know, actually somebody conceived a child during my act, you know, and I don't even know how it happened. You know, that's just the power of... The power of what happens. <laughs> what, did you, what did you think of the competition? I enjoyed thoughts? it. I thought it was really good. Some, uh, some, some high. Uh, What's your predictions for the, for the winner? For the winner. <sighs> it's oh, obviously Chris. I mean Chris. Yeah, Chris was by far. Oh, head and head and shoulders above by everybody way, else. Right. This is uh, Chris leaving the premises because he knows he's lost and uh, he doesn't want to stay for the award ceremony. I cuff myself to a chain outside in protest. Let me back in the contest! Um, anyway, I've got a present for Mr. Dunwoody here. So we've got a wee baby elephant here. Oh, have you heard of Eduardo? Are you shy? What's that? The, 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 the bad man did what to you? Who, did the bad man touch you in inappropriate places? Who was the bad man? <gasps> it wasn't Mr. Elephant, was it? He was. He was. He was playing with your trunk. That's a terrible thing for the ability to touch you. Just, you just point with your trunk. That's terrible, John. That's a terrible thing that you've done. It's like, you want to run? Run, 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 run. You want to run away from stuff. Okay, so Toby's heading home just now. You're going to get a lunch. Toby's not even getting a free lunch for performing. Oh, uh, yes. Shocking. So, uh, that's it. how was your... What's your overall feel of the convention? It's been a really good convention, enjoy it. Uh, met loads of new people, nice guys, and uh, been a good laugh. Adios, yeah. Yep, Amigo. we'll see you all later then. Bye for now. Bye. So, how did you think your, your uh, performance went? I think. Are you going to beat good. Are you gonna beat Michael Neto? <laughs> I, don't, I don't think. No. I don't think so. Yeah, it's alright, it's alright, it is. <laughs> um, we're at the farewell lunch at the minute and we're just waiting on being served. We've been given these wee bags which uh, contain uh, bicycle playing cards and some sweeties. So, uh, all's good, you know. I'm dying, I need another drink to kind of stay alive. I think I've got the best deal here. Playing cards, chocolate, a fudge, and a caramel. They had what, what trophy for the best invention in the close-up competition and this year goes to Michael Neto. Tracked on a wee bit. What's just been happening here? Um, I've sat and watched, listened to about 4,000 speeches from five people. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this brings us to the end of the convention. And I uh, just forget it. Bye bye. <laughs>
push up stairs and we're standing shortly. <laughs> Mine. I'm just <laughs> I'll take it now or I'll just...